So, hi guys. Uh, this is the uh, continuation of my tutorial from installing Windows Server 2008. So, uh, the next thing you need to do after installing is uh, configuring the initial configurations task. Okay. So, this uh, page appears right after you log in at the very first time. Now, there are only a few things you need to configure here to get started. So you can see set time zone, configure networking, provide name and uh, computer name in, in domain, uh, and all of these things below. So let's start to check this one, uh, firewalls and all. So let's start with your time zone. Your time zone, of course, dictates where you are located at. So uh, for now, we are going to check our time zone. Uh, as of now, we are in the Philippines, so we should take plus eight. Plus eight, uh, yeah, there you go, Taipei, we can get it on. That's the nearest time zone to us. All right. And then we can configure your networking. So it will redirect us to our uh, uh, network uh, device, uh, IPv4. And then uh, if you are setting up a server, it is always recommended to use uh, static. So we're going to set this one static. I choose... Um, a class B network and uh, it depends on what uh, range of IP you want to use so for me I just use the default for uh, class B that will be 172. Oh, no. okay. 172.20.20. I'll just put 5. Oh, let's say 1. Okay. Summit mask. You know, we can put it for uh, uh, net mask for 24. Okay default gateway uh, take note on this one because uh, this is the IP address of the router which is connected over the internet so uh, this depends on uh, on the configuration of your network so right now I'll just use uh, another IP address 172 be belonging to same subnet 172.20.20 I'll just use um, uh, 5 okay and then prefer DNS, you can leave the one. If, if you have a DNS uh, server uh, provided to you, use it. Um, for now, it is, that's good enough for us, configuring this one. Uh, but if, yeah, let's just put one. Let's just put the uh, IP address of our router, 172.20.20.5. That'll do. Okay. Uh, that's it. That's how to configure that one. So details, there you go. Close. Close. Okay, we're done with your uh, networking. We're going to provide computer name. So first, you're going to change the name. So I'm going to call this one as uh, DZ1, Domain Controller 1. Okay, and then, okay. You must restart to apply this, okay? Close, restart now. So there you go, our computer uh, had just restarted, it's lagging. Sorry. All right. So, Let's check our uh, computer name, properties. Okay, there you go. DC1, that's the computer name. Now the next thing we're going to do is computer name and domain. Okay, it's still, that's the... Okay, uh, we can just uh, leave this one there. Uh, we'll not configure the one. Uh, okay, download and install update. So it depends on you if you want to turn this on now or maybe later. So I'll just leave it that way so that it will not be downloading a lot of packages from the internet since uh, uh, it will uh, take time. And then here, we can just leave add roles and add features. We can do that one later. So uh, we also need to uh, enable remote desktop so that we can uh, configure your server remotely from um, not... Uh, just in front of the server so if you're away on another lab or on another area of the building you can connect to the one so 
uh, allow connections from computers running any versions of remote desktop. So it is uh, there, it says less secure. And then the other one is allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with the network level authentication. So uh, this, also, uh, this um, uh, option here is good, but I always use this one. So let's just use this one. Okay, then apply, then okay. And then here, as you can see here, configure Windows Firewall, it's on. So uh, it's better to be on. Uh, don't turn it off, okay? So after these initial configurations were done, uh, you can tick this box here. Do not show this Windows at logon. So because if you're not going to check that one, every time you log on to this uh, server, we'll have this initial configuration task popping out. So since we already done the initial configuration here, uh, we can... Uh, check that one and close and that's it so coming up next we are going to uh, I'll be doing another video for installing roles like DHCP DNS and in the Active Directory okay so see you next time and uh, uh, just wait for more videos coming <laughs>